Um, so tell us, tell us more about like where you come from. So you're a San Francisco artist. Um, you're from Hunters Point, yeah. right? I always think it's interesting for uh, San Francisco artists because San Francisco is like super political, you know. Um, so does that ever like get in the way? Like on our end, that ain't political with nobody else. Every other rapper from San Francisco, all of them deal with each other. Just us. They don't deal with us. So that that makes it difficult. Does that make it difficult coming out of the city trying to do music? Not really. You know what? Because I, I, I got an opinion on that, right? <clears throat> Uh, the homie D, I was talking about Bay Area, unpopular uh, opinions, whatever. And what I said was, I feel like because of our politics, that shit's hindering not only just San Francisco music scene. This is my own, just my, this is just my opinion. Yeah. Not only San Francisco music scene, but I feel like it's hindering the Bay Area as a whole. Yeah. And I say that because there's so many folks that you're hearing. Like I, I didn't, I didn't hear about you to a certain degree. To, I didn't hear about you at all yeah. until Key was like. We gotta get this motherfucker on here. This motherfucker dope. I go back and look, and I'm like, damn, this motherfucker's hella dope. Yeah. Now imagine if we, if, if motherfuckers from the city or from, you know what I'm saying, everybody was really pushing Together. and saying like, check this motherfucker out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like in Oakland, motherfuckers just say they from the town, not really be from the town. Yeah. You can't say you from the city and not really be, be from, from the, the city. city. Nah. You know what I mean? What I mean by that is that it's. That shows there's such a a, a, a a uniqueness and a unity that could be happening. And I really like that shit. I, I have a gripe sometimes. I'm like, the city can be hella fucking on points. A lot of music that's come out of there and a lot of artists have come out of there mm -hmm. that a lot of us don't know about to a certain degree because it's not meshing like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I say all that on my side. No, you're right. I'm getting off. But you're I just right. hope that motherfuckers making music will start leaving the street shit behind and say, you know, it's a motherfucking business. Let's yeah. make this motherfucking money. If we come together, can't nobody stop this shit. Yeah. I'm, you yeah. right about that, though. I mean, that's kind of how Atlanta is. is. I mean, I've been in the right. South. Atlanta is like kind of like that, too. I mean, they, they support each other, one another, for real. Right. I mean, they got some people that don't like each other, right. but right. still as far as like, they more organized, yeah. more together, like, you know what I'm saying? They, with their music. I mean, that's why they always been on top like yeah. that. But you know, I also understand that coming from where we come from, sometimes it's deeper than all that. So I understand that sometimes it's deeper than the music. Sometimes it's so intertwined with shit where it's like, nah, we can't fuck with them. Yeah. You know, but I'm just hoping to at one point, that line, we able to fucking put this shit to the side and make this motherfucking money as a group. Cause when the SF Anthem came out, that shit was big. Niggas yeah. was like, You talking Damn. about with Queen in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that shit was like, that shit that was dope. So imagine if motherfuckers really pushing as a group. I mean, Sorry, yeah. Kid. Even God, with Queen, I mean, yeah, Queen, I mean, yeah. Back then, I was, we wasn't, who was really, wasn't nobody really rapping from our side. Mm -hmm. I mean, Hunters Point really just now getting, it's only like two people, it's just like me being like Prezi. Yeah, yeah, Out yeah. of our Hunters Point, yeah. ain't nobody else. I mean, oh yeah, and G Val. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And we don't really like, who else coming out of the point? Is uh, like, Phil Mo always been on with right. the music. Is, uh, Lama Lama, is, is he from? Uh, oh, Lama Lama, yep. He's yeah. from the same little Prezi. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? If motherfuckers have a hundred point joint, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, push that, you know what I mean? That's, that's just, that's I just mean, it would be down. big, it would be big, so. but it is, I don't think it's gonna happen. Right, right, that's why, that's why I said. It would be big, I get with your, like, the yeah. mindset you're saying, like, it'd be big, though, but it's. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. I definitely understand. Yeah. So being that there hasn't really been, like, there's not, like, there's not really, like, any OG rappers still in the city from the point, you know, that... It ain't no OG rappers from, I mean, RBL. Yeah. But, yeah. So, like, is there any, like, OG rappers in the city that are, like, supporting you or, you know, standing behind your movement at all? Mm. I mean, people, like, show their support by keep pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? And we see RBL, you. RBL. Yeah, a uh, few people from RBL. You know, I'm I'm slow, so you know I don't really know a lot of their songs. Yeah, yeah. You don't know RBL? I know who they are, but I just you know I only got like three or four songs deep in today. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. catalog. But you know, um, so do you feel like do, are you doing like a lot of this music stuff? Are you like heavily pursuing it? Like music, this is the option. This is the way I'm going. Yeah, we always in the studio. We got heck of song. We got so much stuff that ain't out like hits too. Like ain't even out yet. We just gonna put it all of it out at the right time. Do you like strategize and plan out how you're gonna drop stuff, or do you just drop stuff based on how you? Nah, feel? we just been dropping stuff. 
like singles, we got like albums we working on. So like singles, like if we got a song and we feel like it's hot, we just gonna do a video to it and drop it. Yeah. Like yeah. just to keep it like yeah, stay relevant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, then we working on other stuff over here. So Yeah. So this guy next to you, yeah. he be with you. I've seen I've seen an interview before you did with the rap chat. This my brother, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. so and you guys do there's a lot of your videos that have a lot of numbers is you guys together, right? Mm -hmm. So are you, would you call yourself like a duo? Or are you just two separate rappers that just work together consistently because you are brothers? Right there. Oh. Right there. <laughs> that last part you said, what you say? Yeah, you guys are two separate rappers, but you work together because you family. I mean, we ain't, I mean, we, we together. We came up like we that. We came up like that. We always been there since we was kids, since we was born. Like, we came out. That's what we just, yeah, yeah. just riding. Yeah. Have you ever been in the yeah. studio as together? As far as music, like he been rapping before me. I mean, not before me. B's been taking it more serious. I was in jail, mm -hmm. and B's was already dropping shit. He already had come out and play with Yada and um, AB Millie. That was like two years ago. That sounded like a million views right now. Yeah. And he was already working. He was been doing. He was dropping. B's got hella shit. Yeah. B's was dropping. I was in jail though. Yeah, I did. I added some songs from the album to my playlist. You know what yeah. I'm saying? B's already got an album out. Yeah, I, I see. I see it. Look, I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there ever times where you're in the studio together where you be feeling like, like either you like rip each other or you like, oh, he came kind of hard. I gotta go a little harder. Or we always did that. Yeah, we always been like that. Yeah, it's a friendly yeah. competition. Yeah, we always been like that. Well, yeah, that's tight. Yeah, yeah. I gotta change yeah. something right quick. Yeah, was yeah. iron sharpens iron or swords. Or yeah, you right. You know. What I'm yeah, saying? that's just. I think that's what all rappers are. Huh? I mean, if you're really serious and you're yeah. in the studio and you know you can come up with some, nah, let me change this shit. He just said some tight ass yeah. shit. Yeah. Let me take this shit out right quick. That's why uh, Jay Z <laughs> added that extra verse of Big Pepper. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because cause Pimp C came on hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, you you, you had to jump crazy. back on. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny though. I was with the homie, uh, the Mobs Jedi. Shout out my nigga. We was at uh, the, the parade today. So, yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm interviewing uh, Ice today. He was like, Drew B's coming? I was like, I don't think so. He said, nah. The next gonna be there. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? If you see ice, you're gonna see that nigga. Like, hey, 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 hey tough. So I, that's something that's dope too, because it shows the unity. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It shows, yeah, we, you know, yeah. we, we rock together. We're not a group, nigga, but we, guess what? Guess what? You see me, you see him. I mean, we in the group, though. You see, I mean, we together. Like, yeah. You know how Boosie and Webby? Right, 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 right. That's okay. How we is. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We the same. We, Boosie and Webby. Hey, we the same. And albums. Just be crazy. Man. That's how our shit about to be. You just gotta make sure, cause I just feel depressed now because I really Webby was my guy, and you know Webby now he kind of fell off a little uh, bit. And Lucy uh, he got, got bigger. Uh, Webby just, just got a drinking problem. Just just gets let him bounce back. Look, I'm hopeful. I liked Webby more than Boosie, okay? Because, you know, I'm, I'm a voice person, you know? I have a high-pitched voice. I can't be listening to another person with a high-pitched voice. That's a lot. That's not yeah. about, never mind. Uh, so that's not about fat girls. You can't say that. Rub that together. Why? So what if somebody else got a high pitched voice and they listen to what you talking about? But you know, people ain't weird like me. They probably be like, "Ooh, her voice is high like mine." Okay. But me, you know, it takes a minute because you know, someone like here and this high pitched. Like yeah. now yeah. that I have a son and he talked to me, I see how irritating I sound. You know, because <laughs> I be like, "This is what people mean when they say I'm whiny and high pitched." Like. <laughs> it's a lot, you know? So outside of music, um, you do a lot of community work. You do some, some giving back to Oakdale. Um, oh yeah. What? Why? I mean, why? Why? Why is that even important? Why you even do it? I mean, that's where we from. Yeah. Okay. I just remember being young, me and him running through the cuts, just bad. Our parents outside, everybody. I mean, this is more unity. Yeah. I mean, everybody make it seem like a gang, but this is the area that we grew up in. Yeah. When we was born, we don't we don't control none of this. Right. We born in our families, wherever they was at at that time. Yeah. That's where we that's where we went to. Yeah, I feel like those so, young in the shoes. right. You know right. what I'm saying? So as far as me being us being in on Oakdale in Hunters Point, that's our hood. Yeah. So you can't be mad at us for repping our hood and yeah. where we from. Yeah. Like this is where we. As soon as we came out the pussy, that's where we went. Right, right. This is where our whole family, everything was already set up like this. I think, uh, and me. It, so, yeah, I, I always wonder why artists don't publicize that more. Like, yo, this is the work that we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I feel like, one, as you said, 
we, we put our feet, we put ourselves in the, in, in the feet of these youngsters. So it's automatically implied, like, mm -hmm. we gotta do it. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, niggas gotta tell motherfuckers, like, we doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. when motherfuckers like, what are they doing? They just they just make music, like, we make music, but we also, the money we make through this shit, we funnel this shit back, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, and I think you guys are pretty vocal about that. You know, I, I, done, I done slid through to a couple of the uh, block parties, got me a couple plates, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You know what I'm saying? And you know, one thing about us too, and then like our homies that's dead, we always throw something for them. Yeah. yeah. We always keep their name live, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You only get a certain amount of friends, certain families yeah. in one life, you know I mean? So when they die, you gotta just make sure they live. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. and that's so hella we, beautiful, yeah. We just, we keep that's lit true. every day, it don't matter. That's why it's always seemed like we doing something. Cause like, we take, like everybody that's dead, we doing something for them. Yeah. Or we just doing something in the hood, cause we wanna do something, you know what I'm saying? So. I've been watching that movie Coco lately, and that reminds me like, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's a cartoon, but like, keeping that family, keeping that warrior, keeping that story, keeping yeah. those names alive constantly. Yeah. Just did it for the children just there, you know what I'm saying? It's a great movie. Miguel was a little shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he was. Mm. Is there any um, artists in the city that you guys are looking to work with or put on your album? <laughs> K.E. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, from Sunnydale, from probably West Point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Finding a feed out. Uh, but we ain't really. Little Pete, man. Oh, yeah, Little Pete. Little Pete tight, though, for sure. Fuck with him. You know what I mean? Little Pete tight. We fuck with him. We fuck with some of his peoples and shit. So, so um, any vagina on the project? Like female? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, no. Look, y'all rappers need to do better about getting women on their projects, okay? I'll probably do <laughs> the, that. Like, the female little rap Kayla. game right little now. Little Kayla, that's a little sister. You know what? I feel like I'm sis at this point, and too. You and you all got me fucked up. Period. Is that a girl probably gonna be on there, too? You know, we probably do something with all yeah. females, then. Yeah. You, you know, know moving on. We moving on. All okay. females. We gonna do something with all females now, since you saying that. Okay, but you say it. I'm saying we gonna make it happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on Instagram. Remember when you yeah. said? <laughs> I'm gonna tag you. Yeah, tag me. Go ahead. Because <laughs> you got this right now. I'm a man of my word. Yeah. That's all I got. Okay. Well, um... We gonna get into some current events. You 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 here with us? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's get into it. So.